All right, this is the sixth time I've started this video and we're gonna go ahead and just push on through. F me, you guys, seriously. Every time, like I was fine earlier this morning and now all of a sudden my throat wants to like clog up and get all nasty inside. I don't know what happened. It's like I have a cold now. I didn't have a cold five minutes ago, I swear. So, I have been seeing, I believe it's my friend Emma P is her channel name. She does a thing on her YouTube videos that I think it's kind of like in the beauty community would be known as like a project pan. I've seen her do updates. I, I try to watch her videos. I enjoy her videos. I like her, love her voice. But for some reason when I hit the playback, it's always very low. So I always have to like find earphones and I'm just lazy and I never find earphones. So I just try to listen to her as much as I can. <laughs> if you're watching, hi Emma. <laughs> Sorry, I just hit my camera. Uh, let's see. Also, I believe I've seen my friend Angela, my clothes smell like candles, do something similar to this. I think she called it like push asides or push aways or something like that. But anyways, okay, let's just get to the point of the video. I pulled out 10 Super Tarts clams that I always seem to go through, but I always pass by them. I smell them and then I put them back in the bin right away. I don't know why, I'm not really sure. I just, I don't know if I don't love the smell of them, but I'm gonna, this is kind of like a new series, I think. I think I feel like this ser a series type thing coming out of this so that I can review some of the ones that I may not like. I did do a video and I'll put a little card across the screen here of my favorite Super Tarts scents that I've repurchased over and over again that I do love and that are like my must have all the time with me. So let's go ahead and start out with, yeah, let's go ahead and start out with this one. So basically what I'm going to do is add these to my two warm pile and I'll do a review on these 10 at the end to tell you how I like them. And, you know, because here's the thing, guys, a lot of scents I have smelled on cold and they completely transform on warm. Either I liked them on cold and I didn't like them on warm or I didn't like them on cold and they turned out to be okay on warm. So sometimes things change and they smell different. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. So I have 10. So this first one is called Six Flags, Sugar Dusted Funnel Cakes and Sweet Fluffy Cotton Candy. Now for some reason when I smell this one, if anyone is interested, here's what it looks like. Looks like we have, oh yeah, oh that's super cute with the kid like going down the roller coaster with his hands in there. That's cute. All right. So this one to me, it has that dough smell. It's not as bad as like a Play-Doh that like I've smelled before. I had another one from another vendor that was like funnel cakes or waffle cone or something. And it had kind of the same scent profile. So I'm interested to see what this one is going to smell like on warm because on cold, I don't necessarily like love it or want to gravitate towards it. It's okay, but it's got kind of a doughy, almost Play-Doh undertone. But again, not as bad as like some of her marshmallow scents that I've talked about in previous videos. This one I already did warm, but I'm going to have to find something to blend with it. And I'll talk about that. Black Rest or Gotham. This is Gotham. Black raspberry vanilla, pomegranate, and vanilla champagne. I should have known. I don't like pomegranate at all. and But I thought with, maybe with the black raspberry vanilla and vanilla champagne. You just never know with brandy scents, to be honest. So I warmed this one the other day, as you can see. I warmed two cubes out of here. And I didn't love it. I love black raspberry vanilla, but for some reason that day, I just... I, don't, I mean, it smells good on cold, but... I don't know, so I feel like I need to mix this with something, and I'm not 100% sure what yet. I'm going to figure it out as I go along, but I will tell you, like, I will warm two cubes of it on its own, and then I'll warm two cubes of it mixed with something and tell you if it helped or not. So that's number two. This one. This one everybody, like, raved up and down about how amazing it was. This is Luna from the Harry Potter collection. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what she's calling it. Harry Potter, what is she calling it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, she's changed her 
names of some of the things. So this is lemon curd, French vanilla, and twilight. So I'm very familiar with the scent of twilight. I have the Lush shower gel, I have the Lush bath bomb, I have a few things in the twilight scent. So I'm very familiar. And to me, this just smells like straight up lemon curd. I love Luna the character, by the way. I think she's very interesting. That's what the inside looks like. Ooh, there we go. I just get straight lemon curd from this one. Maybe a slight hint of vanilla. But it's very strong lemon curd. I don't smell Twilight at all. Again, which is why I'm gonna warm it and see if any of those notes come out. In fact, maybe I'll warm that one today. Maybe that will be my first go. This one I keep pulling out Captain's Morning. I kind of don't want to use this one because it's the only one I have. Like my favorites I have doubles and sometimes triples of. <laughs> but ones like these, like I just grabbed like one because I wasn't sure what it smelled like. This is Captain's Morning Buttermilk Pancakes and Orange Juice. This just sounded so good. I was probably hungry the day I ordered this. <laughs> this is what it looks like on the inside. I feel like this is classic Super Tarts right here. Like with the blue sparkles and the squirt, as I like to say. <laughs> oh, and it's super cute with this on the bottom. So I can smell... I smell orange juice. And I smell buttermilk pancakes. It's pretty simple. But for some reason, I just always grab this one and I never... I never grab... I just never grab it. This one, I'm a little bit scared of. This is Catwoman. When I first smelled this, I thought I was in love, but I think Angie's kind of got me scared of like milk scents. Sweetened condensed milk, vanilla wafers, and mixed berry smoothie. I think her daughter drew that. Isn't that cute? The kitty cat's on. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Mine would probably be way worse. I would have like a stick figure. Oh look, and she's even got high heels. Look, look at her high heels. That's some skill. Like, I would have, like, a little stick figure with, like, no arms and no legs. <laughs> this one does smell pretty good. I'm kind of excited about this one, but I'm a little scared of the milk. This is what the inside looks like if you're interested. Yeah, it's kind of, like, I don't really get that milk scent too strong, but... I'm getting like a warm bakery scent off of this. Yeah. I think this the milk is different than the sugar milk, which I'm not 100% sold on either. So we'll see. This one, Blackberry Jam, Ocean Rain, and Pink Sands. I think I mostly got this one because it had Ocean Rain. You guys know I love my fresh water scents. Penguin. Of course we have the hat, it's a pretty blue color. I love blue, blue's like my favorite. Now I've heard people say that her blackberry jam is more on the perfume side. I think that's correct. But on this one here, the only reason I think I'm feeling that is because that pink sands is pretty strong. I'm not the biggest fan of pink sands. It almost smells like a perfume. Am I smelling my lotion or is that? No, that's the tart. Yeah, it's like, it's like a perfume. I just don't know if I like that one. So again, I'm gonna try warming it on its own. I might try to mix it with something. This one, okay. 50-50 bar just sounded really good. <laughs> Blueberry cheesecake and vanilla bean sugar cookies. I love like the vanilla bean scent and I love the scent of 50-50 bar. Her blueberry, I'm not sold on. And I just don't know how I feel about this one. This is what it looks like on the inside. I think this is Finn and Ferb. Is that what it is? It's been a long time since my daughter's been in the cartoons. So... I'm trying to remember what a 50-50 bar smells like. 
You know, actually this one doesn't smell too bad on the blueberry as I thought it did initially. I think I'm getting more of the vanilla bean sugar cookies and maybe a slight tinge of orange, but like more of like a bitter orange. I don't know, we're gonna have to see. Again, brandy stuff is mostly paraffin as well, so it's harder to smell on cold. You'll get more of a scent throw on warm, like you'll get more of an idea, which is why I'm trying to push through some of these. This next one is Robin. I'm not the biggest fan of fresh cut grass. It has to be mixed like really well. Here's another one that her kids drew. Like, look how cute. I mean, seriously, fresh cut grass and fresh picked strawberries. This one to me is mostly dominant on the fresh cut grass. Like, I don't get a lot of... Like, I'm not smelling a lot of strawberry. So, I'm going to try to maybe find... Again, I'm going to warm, you know, two cubes by itself. And then I'll mix if I need to. But that one's really pretty. It almost looks like it was spray painted on there. Isn't that cool? I never noticed that. Yeah, I don't smell any. I'm not really getting any strawberry. I'm mostly getting fresh cut grass. So, I always, like, grab this one and I always end up putting it away. <laughs> Poison Ivy is another one that I picked up just as like a random wild card, but I don't know if I love it. It's Ivy Vines, Orange Peel, and White Wine. I do not like White Wine and Wax whatsoever. But I always take a chance with Brandy's stuff because you never know like the way that, you know, she's going to blend something. I mean, her blends are so out of this world anyway sometimes that... So... This one is kind of like a fresh green. I'm not sure if I'm smelling orange peel. This one is very unique. Um, it's hard to describe, but I'm going to warm it and let you know how it turns out. So that's poison ivy. Okay. And this next one is Harley Quinn. And this is pink sugar, blackberry jam, and vanilla sugar waffle cone. This just sounded like a winner to me, no matter what. And we've got that logo on the inside. Again, with the blackberry jam. I'm not the biggest fan of pink sugar now, either. Now that I'm smelling that. Pink sugar has to be blended just right for me to enjoy it or like it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm getting kind of like the pink sugar. Pretty strong. This one was a little bit lighter. I did notice that out of all the rest of them. This one smells like the lightest. Yeah, again with that waffle cone, I'm kind of getting like a weird note off of that. So yeah, so this is another one that's going to be warm and we are going to see. So those are my 10 that I picked out. Am I zoomed in? Oh yeah. There we go. So those are my 10 that I'm gonna go ahead and warm and add in with my melts that I have pulled out for now. My whole reasoning for doing this as well, I'll just throw this out here, is because I really don't wanna de-stash. It seems like de-stashes are harder. Like I remember back in the day, probably about two years ago, when de-stashes would sell like hotcakes, especially super tarts, like super tarts would go like that. Now that she's more of a ready to ship company, it's not as easy to get rid of things and you don't get like before you could ask like a dollar an ounce was it a dollar an ounce yeah like a dollar was that right a dollar an ounce i don't know anyways yeah you could ask like a dollar an ounce and you could get full price for your stuff nowadays it's not that's not the case vintage chic that was the same way you could um list a d stash of vintage chic people would pick it right up rose girl same thing now i see things sit for like a day or two or whatever but people used to be like right at that minute so yeah, so you don't have to be as quick anymore. So and I really don't want to mess with de-sashing because I've seen a few friends get burned via PayPal claims for no reason and just people being shady. So I really want to try to just warm through them anyways, whether I like them or not. And that way, I mean, I might find something that I like. You never know. So yeah, that's like kind of my main motivation is I don't really feel like de-sashing. So I thought, well, I need to push myself to warm these things. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. I, this is something that I just randomly thought of. Like I've seen a few other people do it, but I, I wasn't gonna do it myself until 
a little bit ago, like I decided about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.